Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. And good morning everyone. So, today we are going to move to another unit which is unit 7. Let's look at, at this unit and what is today's learning objective and also success criteria. Remember, normally when we enter to a new unit or to a new topic, we learn vocabulary first because you need to know what words that will be used throughout the whole unit. Our objective is pupils can demonstrate understanding of the vocabulary by describing people correctly. Later, you have to describe certain people using the vocabulary that we will learn. And then, our success criteria is pupils can describe at least three features of a person accurately. Later, you have to describe certain people and then you will see what kind of person he is at all they are. All right. Now, let's look at, at this one. Vocabulary growing up. You can refer to your student book, page 72 and 73. All right. Number one, which famous people do you like and why? Maksudnya, yang mana orang famous, orang terkenal yang mana yang you suka dan kenapa? So, I put Lisa Blackpink, I think you know this girl. And then, I have Dwayne Johnson or we call it The Rock. So, why do you like them? Probably you like Lisa because she has blonde hair, rambut perang. She has green eyes. Sebab apa suka? Sebab dia ada mata berwarna hijau. Or you can say, sebab kulit dia cerah. She has fair skin. Or, for Dwayne Johnson, you can say, because he is bald, dia botak. Or you can say, because he has round face. Maksudnya, muka yang bulat. Ataupun bujuk. Or, probably, because he is muscular. Dia berotot, dia sadu. So, why do you like certain people? You need to tell me their features. And then, this is my favorite famous person. Uh, who is this person? This is Cristiano Ronaldo. Why I like him? Number one, because he is muscular. Boleh nampak kan? Sadu, berotot, betul tak? And then, because he is tall. Maksudnya, dia sangat tinggi. And then, because he has athletic body type. Ada badan yang ciri-ciri badan ahli sugat. And then, the last one, because he is fit. Dia sangatlah fit. And then, now, let's look at, at another activity. Mm -hmm. Make your own avatar. The first one, height and good. Maksudnya, ketinggian dan juga perwatakan. So, this are the vocabulary that you need to learn, that you need to know. Alright. Number one, we have tall. Tinggi. Average height. Tinggi yang biasa. Maksudnya, macam mana tengok cikgu-cikgu, mak, ayah, abang-abang, kakak-kakak. Ah, ketinggian yang average. Sama je. And then, here we have short. Maksudnya, ketinggian yang rendah. Tak tinggilah. And then we have overweight. Berlebihan berat badan. Rasa-rasa siapa overweight dalam kelas kita ni? Ah, awak fikirlah sendiri. And then, we have average boot. Maksudnya, dia punya puatakan yang biasa-biasa sahaja. Dia tak kurus, dia tak gemuk, dia tak tinggi, dia tak rendah. And then we have slim. Maksudnya, kurus. So, we have six words or six vocabulary for height and good. Now, let's look at, at another feature which is hair. Alright. 
we have the first one the box here we should write long because she has long hair rambut yang panjang number two we have short hair rambut yang pendek curly hair rambut yang kerinting and then we have spiky hair rambut yang cacat and then we have straight hair rambut yang lurus and then we have bob botak and then yang bawah pula adalah color we have black hitam grey kelabu dark dark brown chocolate yang gelap light brown chocolate yang tak gelap ataupun coklat yang ringan yang coklat yang biasa-biasa saja dia tak blonde tapi dia coklat and then we have here we have red rambut warna merah and then we have blonde blonde ni biasanya rambut warna perang ok now let's move on to another feature the third one which is face and eyes alright so for this one the first face shape we have round maksudnya muka berbentuk bulat and then we have square muka berbentuk petak and then we have thin muka berbentuk halus maksudnya dagu dia runcing dia kurus dia pipi dia macam kurus macam macam tu ok and then kita tengok mata pula warna apa we have blue we have brown and then here we have green warna hijau and then we have grey mata berwarna kelabu and then the last one which is other features maksudnya ciri-ciri yang lain we have glasses maksudnya berkaca mata beard berjambang sunglasses memakai cermin mata berwarna hitam and then the last one here kita ada bermisai which is mustache bermisai ok now let's look at at this person very handsome right this is cikgu Fitri Aziz now we should describe this person using the words or the vocabulary that we have learned just now I already wrote to here for example for height and book Cikgu Fitri he has average height tinggi yang biasa-biasa and then for hair he has short hair and black hair how about face and eyes I think Cikgu Fitri he has round face Alright. And then how about eyes? Yes, he has brown eyes. Aha. Uh -huh. Now for the last one, check with Okay, let's look at check with three closely. Adakah dia ada jambang? Does he has beard? No, right. He has mustache. This one. So we should write here must this maksudnya ada misai ha cik fitri very handsome mm -hmm. next we should describe ah cikgu hazim cikgu kairil hazim all right number one h uh, sorry height and good cikgu hazim probably average good all right maksudnya tinggi dia yang biasa and then how about hair Cikgu Hazim, he has short and black hair. Same goes with Cikgu Fitri. Now, let's look at face and eyes. Cikgu Hazim, he has, I think, square. Ah, he has square face and I think he has brown eyes. The last one, Cikgu Hazim. Glasses? No. Beard? No. Sunglasses? No. Mustache? Ada tak? Tak ada. So, the last one, tak perlu. Dah ni. 
Okay, now let's look at the last one. Ha, we have so one here. All right, the first one. So one high and bold. I think so one slim, right? Because he is very thin or slim. Ah, so one very slim. And then second one hair. So one. Let's look at so one's hair. Very. Is it long? No, right. Is it short? Not really, right? So, for hair, I think someone he has straight hair, straight and black. So we write here straight and black hair. The third one, how about someone's face and eyes? I think someone he has thin face, muka yang halus, and also blue eyes. About someone in the masala. So he has thin face and blue eyes. How about the last one? Glasses, yes. Beard, no. Sunglasses, no. Mustache, not really. So we write here he wears sun. Sorry, not sunglasses. We he wear glasses, which means berkaca mata. Very easy, right? Now, let's look at our exercise. You can open your workbook, page 60. Surat 60. So, you need to answer question number 1, number 2, number 3 and also number 4. Okay, for the first one, match sentence half 1 to 7 with A to G. Maksudnya, awak kena suaikan daripada ayat yang 1 hingga 7 dengan A hingga G. Contoh dah dibuat. Your face is round is square. So you need to suaikan which one is the correct definition. Number 2. Which words is the odd one out? Maksudnya perkataan mana yang pelik? For example, blonde, perang, light brown, koko cerah. Blue, biru, fair, maksudnya skin yang, yang cantik. So, yang paling pelik ataupun yang paling stand out adalah blue berwarna biru. So, you need to circle which word that odd in the sentences. And then, for third one, for the third exercise, you need to fill in the blanks with the vocabulary that we have learned just now. Just fill it in correctly. Alright. And then, for the last one, complete the text with the word. Same goes to the third exercise. You need to fill in the blank. But this one, based on the picture and based on the text. So, for exercise file, you don't have to do this one. Alright, so you need to answer this one again, page 60, muka surat 60, exercise 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, no need. I hope you can complete your exercise and then we will discuss the answer for, sorry, during our next Google Meet. That's all from me, thank you so much for joining me, thank you so much for watching this video, see you again on Wednesday. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and